be talking about the informative speech and how my thoughts on it. I think the purpose of the speech is obviously it's to inform, but for me it was a lot more than that because of the issue I chose. I chose immigration for those of you that don't know. And I chose it because it's extremely relevant today, especially with the upcoming presidential election. Immigration is a very big issue, and a lot of people are asking how the next president is going to solve immigration or how they're going to reform it. I felt pretty good going into this speech presentation because I did a lot of reading about immigration beforehand, and I talked to a lot of different people about their thoughts on it and how I could, and I thought about how I can incorporate that kind of thing, those kind of things into my speech. I think that reading a lot about immigration helped me build like an unbiased viewpoint on immigration and that I think that came out pretty well in my speech. Um, speaker, speaker ethos is basically the speaker's credibility and I think I improved my speaker's ethos by including uh, a few different sources and I included like an actual study about immigration, how it's perceived in my speech and I think that really brought up the ethos because of how it was, how the experiment was conducted and how many different variables it had throughout the experiment and how they took every single variable into effect. I think the technology for my speech was adequately prepared. Uh, I think PowerPoint worked surprisingly well for me. Uh, if I were to do one thing differently about that though, is I'd probably started recording lines a few days ago, so I wouldn't have to spend like the past couple hours just sitting here and just talking into a microphone trying to get the lines to come out uh, good enough for me to feel like I can present them. When uh, I was creating the PowerPoint, I had to keep a lot of things in, line, in mind. The first thing I had to keep in mind is I didn't want to make the, uh, the file extremely big and like have a lot of things that could go wrong with it, so I really didn't add any animations. But I did uh, add the, something to the animation so it plays right when you start the slide. I think that was pretty good because it helps the, slide, or the PowerPoint presentation move faster. And uh, that took me a while to figure out, though. That's the sad thing. Like, I had to go, it was like half an hour and like a few Google searches later, I finally got it working the first time. In terms of structure and organization, uh, very few things really felt natural to me in my speech because it's not the way I talk normally. Uh, the introduction, introduction and conclusion were probably the most natural things because I was just talking about my story and like how I viewed immigration, how I thought. I should talk about it. The transitions to me just seemed kind of wordy and the body paragraphs also seemed kind of wordy like I was explaining things very in depth that I really didn't need to. When I was developing the speech I had to consider my audience which is my fellow classmates and I when I was considering that I realized that I'd wanted to present an unbiased view of uh, immigration because I'm not sure how everyone feels about the issue and I didn't want to like like alienate certain people watching or listening to my PowerPoint just because I talked from a biased point of view. When I was thinking about things that worked in my speech, the things that worked the best was probably um, the information I brought in because a lot of it was from pretty credible sources and the things that worked the worst was probably the just like the, the how few of sources I had. I really wanted to incorporate more sources but I couldn't find any sources that really fit into my overall like theme of the speech. If I was going to target an area for improvement, it would be how many sources I had. The thing, the connection I had to the reading is was on page 82. It's from chapter 11. And it's basically, it talks about how many different strategies there is to start a speech and how to get the audience interested. And I really didn't know how many different ways there was until I read how to start the speech. And uh, overall, I think my, my informative speech went rather well. And I'm... I'm really looking forward to how I did on it.